I will be learning. The Sikha we'll be learning is the Sikha is Chelik Tazayan, the third Sikha. And with all the Sikhas that we're learning lately, is getting harder and harder. It's hard Sikhas, they're regular, you know, Lombish Sikhas, hard Sikhas, but nevertheless, we learn. Uh, we don't learn it with all the horrors. If we learn it with all the horrors, it would be such lomda, such deep inyon in mamish valdik, but just learn it as an, I just sometimes pick a horror here, a horror here, which is pushing the gate to the pshat. So this week is also a whole lomda in the Rambam. This is how the Rebbe starts. For Posik, also the Migdash Vishachant to be Seichon, from this Posik, in this week's Parsha, where it says, V'osu the Migdash Hashem said to Meshach Rabbeinu, make for me a Migdash, Vishachant to be Seichon, I will dwell in them. Learn to read the Rambam in Hilchas Beis Abchira from this posting. The Rambam in the beginning of Hilchas Beis Abchira. Hilchas Beis Abchira are the halachas of the Beis Hamikdash. The Rambam calls it Hilchas Beis Abchira because the Beis Hamikdash was the chosen place. So there, in this Hilchas Beis Abchira, the Rambam brings this posting, and from here he learns a lot like this. And the Rebbe quotes the lashon of the Rambam. Mitzvah says it's a positive mitzvah. Lasas bais l'Hashem to make a house for Hashem. Muchan lias makrivin be'akarbon. It's a place that should be ready. Where to bring the korbanos, chul, etc. And he says, where do we see the posseg that there is a mitzvah to build such a home? It says, posseg shall make for me a mikdash. And then the Rambam continues. In the Torah that explains the mishkan that Meishe Rabbeinu made, and the Rambam says that was only temporary. Because the posseg says, the posseg in the posseg in the posseg that Meish Rabbeinu was saying, you hadn't come yet to Nuch to the resting to the proper resting place because you're still in the midbar. That was the Mishkan of Meish Rabbeinu. And then the Rambam continues. The Rebbe doesn't bring it here. The Rambam will bring the whole Russian later in the Sikha. And the Rambam continues in the second halacha. After he says that Meish, in the midbar, he made the Mishkan, Meish made a Mishkan. And that's clearly on the Torah. And then it says, when he came to Eretz Yisrael, that same Mishkan was put up in Gilgal, and the 14 years that it took them to conquer and settle the land. After that, they came to Shile. There they built a house of stones. And then he said, and he says there was 30, 369 years it stood. Then, they, then the, when Eli passed away, it was destroyed, and they came to Nev, and then they built a Mishkan, then they came to Givain, they built a Migdash, and finally they came to the Beis Elamim, to the and the days in the, in the given was 57 years. Well, the Rebbe will explain and bring it later. I just brought the Lashon of the Rambam. So here in Hilchus Beisabchira, the Rambam uses the Posik as the source for the mitzvah of making a Beisamikdash. But in Hilchus Melochim, but in the beginning of Hilchus Melochim, learned to say, the Rambam from another Posik. There he learns it out from the different Posik. This is the Lashon of the Rambam. Sholosh mitzvah nistavi Yisrael bishask nisos and lorad. The Yidin were commanded three, to do three mitzvahs when they were entering Eretz Yisrael. And one of the three mitzvahs was Libnei's Beis Abchira to build the Beis Amikdash, which he called Beis Abchira. But here he brings another posse where we see that there was a mitzvah to build the Beis Amikdash. And Amr, it says, L'shichnei Tidrushu Vos Shomo. It's also a posse in Chumash Dvarim. L'shichnei Tidrushu, you should look for where he should rest, and that's where you will come. So the posse tells you that you shall make a place for Hashem's resting, which is the house of Hashem. So he brings another post. Did he do a dekasha? So we know the question. For both bring the need do from Zelman post, it was a bring the not from Hilchas Beisabchira. Question is, why doesn't he bring in Hilchas Malachim as a source for the mitzvah of making a Beisabchira? The same post because he brings in Hilchas Beisabchira, which is the post, but also in Migdosh. Rather, here he brings the post with Shikhna Tidu Shabbos Hashem. But the Mepharshim all has the Shaila. So the Lecha Mishnah answered of them, the Lecha Mishnah answers, and the post was also in Migdosh Retveg Mishkan Hamidbar. The Posseg Vosel Mikdash is only talking about the Mishkan. It was told to Meshach Rabbeinu Pasha Trumo concerning building the Mishkan, but not concerning the Beis Amikdash. On their Posseg, the Sheikh Metidrushu meant the Mishkan Shile. The Sheikh Metidrushu goes already on what happened later. The Mishkan Shile, the Rasha Taich, as Asha says, and actually in the Order 7, Rebbe brings that from the, we find also that the same Posseg, the Sheikh Metidrushu also goes on the Beis Amikdash in Yerushalayim. So it goes on Shile and on Later on, for the Mish, the Mikdash in Yerushalayim. Okay, Heicha de Bishilei of the Midbar in Mitzvah, Vada de Besabchira in Mitzvah. So just like in Shile and in the Midbar was a Mitzvah, certainly Besabchira was a Mitzvah. So basically, what he's saying is that the Rambam Milchas Melochim, where he talks about the Besam Mikdash, 
there was a mitzvah, one of the three mitzvahs was to make a bisa mikdash. So he's talking about the mikdash of Yerushalayim. So for that fits the posik, the shikh nitidrushu. But the posik also the mikdash is brought in the beginning of the place of Chile when he talks about the mishkan and the midbot. That's why he brings there a different posik, because in the mishkan of the midbot, the posik is also the mikdash. The mikdash of Yerushalayim is from the posik, the shikh nitidrushu. The Rebbe says, so it's not understood. The Baldas binya bais Hashem rechem the Rambam milchas beis abchira al smitzvah sesef. Since in milchas in milchas beis abchira the lotion of the Rambam is that it's a mitzvah esse to build a beis amigdosh. Um dos main time mitzvah ane heges la deiras and that means a mitzvah not only at the time of the midbar a mitzvah that goes on for all generations. But what's bring the aposik but the tzivi is not a binya na mishkan. Why would he bring a posik? Over there, which only talks about the Mishkan. In other words, according to the Lech Mishnah, the Posik Vosel and Mikdosh is only talking about the Mishkan. So, had in Hilchas Vesabchire only spoken about the Mishkan, then you bring the Posik Vosel and Mikdosh. But Lapel, the Rambam there, is talking about the Besamikdosh in all generations. That's how he starts off. It's a mitzvah says uh, constantly to build a house to Hashem. So, he's not talking only about the Mishkan. He just mentions the Mishkan as the first one. But the mitzvah that the Rambam is saying there is a mitzvah. For all generations to build a base of Mikdash. So, why would he bring a posik that only talks about the Mishkan, according to the Lecha Mishnah, that this posik only talks about the Mishkan? And it's how hard to understand what he says that the posik is only talking about the Mishkan. As in Hilchas Beis Abchira, that you could say that in Hilchas Beis Abchira, the Alochas is called Hilchas Beis Abchira. The name of it is as it is. This word is the name. At the Ganser Teichen is the mitzvah says of the day that's from Binyam Yisamikdash. Hilchas Beis Abchira actually goes on the Beis Amikdash, the place that was chosen. So the Rambam Hilchas Beis Abchira names the halachas, the halachas of the Beis Amikdash, not the halachas of the Mishkan, the halachas of the Beis Amikdash. So Zola bring in a posig with the tzibur is a Mishkan a mitzvah. Does it make sense that he would bring a posig in Hilchas Beis Abchira for a mitzvah of the Beis Amikdash, a posig that's only talking about the Mishkan when Hilchas Melachim? And on the opposite, Hilchas Melochim was Kishmein King Nu. In Hilchas Melochim, the Rambam actually is talking about the of making a king. He, by the way, mentions the mitzvah that after you make a king, you also have to build a base Amigdash. As the Retz Bikaveg mitzvah is Minimela, that mainly talks about the mitzvah of appointing a king. So the Brengen the Posik, the Shikhna Tidush, or there, where he's not really talking about the mitzvah of the Mesa Amigdash. He should bring the Posik, the Shikhna Tidush, or was Retveg Mishkin Shilai, or Beis Salomon, which is talking about Shilai, the Beis Amigdash. Over there, it wouldn't matter really which posse he brings because it's not really the place to tell us about the building of the Beis Hamikdash. Nevertheless, over there, he brings the posse of the Beis Hamikdash. In Beis Abchira, where it's talking the mitzvah of making a Beis Hamikdash, like starting from the Mishkan, but also making a Beis Hamikdash, there he only brings the posse that has to do with the Mishkan. It's not clear. The Rambam brings in Hilchas Beis Abchira. The posik was also the mikdash, not al tziva of mishkan. The bem is not like we said before that this posik applies only to the mishkan. Bem is you could say the posik brings not only on the mishkan, nor vaylin for nim land from the ab the mitzvah klolus from binyan bisam mikdash. No, the truth is that from this posik was also the mikdash. We learn out the mitzvah of building the bisam mikdash. Also, it's not only the mishkan, all the bisam mikdash. In the fintes medrashim, we take a find the medrashim that it says clearly that the mitzvah of building the bisam mikdash is from the posik was also the mikdash, which is brought in the chumash so, Bem is the Pasik applies to the Bisham Mikdash also, not like the Lech Mishnah said. But if he says, but if you're going to say that, on the other hand, we don't understand what's by Mitzvah's Binya Bisham and Hilchas Melachim. So, why, when it comes to the building of the Bisham Mikdash, the way it's written, Hilchas Melachim, bring that another Pasik, he brings another Pasik, the Shikh Natidu Shabbat Shama. The Pasik, like we said before, that the Shikh Natidu, look over to his breast and come there. So, it comes out. That the posik, as we're saying now, Vosli Mikdash talks about the Bisham Mikdash. And Hilchas Malachim he also talks about the Bisham Mikdash. So why would they bring another posik there? But Yay says, look, it's more than not understood. As the Mashma is in the Loshan, the way it seems from the Loshan of the Rambam, as the Moki for Rambam in Hilchas Malachim, that the source of the Rambam in Hilchas Malachim, where he goes through the three mitzvahs, is from their Medrash. It's from a Medrash. In the order, the Rebbe says that some say that it's not from the Medrash, but the Rebbe says it seems like it's a copy. Basically, the source of the Rambam is from the Medrash. Was bring them posig v'osel mikdash from the mikdash. Actually, what he says in Hilchas Malachim, as the Rebbe will quote the Loshan about the three mitzvahs, is taken from a Medrash, and there the Medrash and the, one of the three, which is building the base mikdash, you bring the posig v'osel mikdash. And the Rambam 
quotes basically his source, which is the Medrash, about the mitzvah of building the Beis Hamikdash, one of the three mitzvahs, and he doesn't quote the same posik as the Medrash. The Medrash calls the posik posel Mikdash, which fits, and the Rambam calls the posik l'shich l'kiddushu. And this is v'zel l'shein, and this is the lashon of the Rambam. Ashlei shadvarim mitzavi Yisrael with insulsam lord. The Eden were commanded on three things when they came, on, on, upon coming into the land. Limnes ala yimelech, to appoint the king. Limnes lam b'sav chidr, to build the b'sav mikdash. Ulahachri zareh shal amolek, and to destroy the children of amolek. Limnes angla yimelech. Where does it say in the Torah that you have to appoint the king? The Ksiv, it says, same tosim alech amel. It says, you shall appoint the king, you shall make a king. Limnes lam b'sav chidr, where do we see that they were commanded to build the b'sav mikdash? The Ksiv, it says, v'osoli mikdash. Bring the posse v'osoli mikdash. That's the posseg which tells you that you have to build a base of when you come to Eretz Yisrael. Where do we see the mitzvah that you have to destroy the children of Amalek? Because it says in the posseg, when Hashem will make you rest from fighting with all your other enemies, destroy the zeicher and remembrance of Amalek. So here we see, from the dry tzivuyim, and the same thing where he tells us about these three commandments is the Medrash the limit of Mitzvah Beis Abchira from Posseg Vos the Mikdash. The Medrash, what Posseg does it bring as a source for the Mitzvah of the three, the Mitzvah building Beis Abchira, also the Mikdash. If our voice is the Rambam in Hilchas Malach and Meshane from Medrash or Hilchas Beis Abchira. So now the question is, why does the Rambam change? Aside from the Medrash, and he also changes from what himself wrote in Hilchas Beis Abchira, and bring them Sibir for another Posseg. He brings another post. He doesn't bring the commandment from Vosel and Mikdash. In Vesabchir, he brings it. In Medrash, it says. And in Medrash, it says in the same thing when he talks about the three mitzvahs. And the other Raman changes. Why does he do that? Er we also have to understand. A vinyam Vesamikdash, the Chfrana Posik in Sibu Mepurish, and building the Vesamikdash has another post, a clear post. And it's Mepurish, it's clear. Nitvi Vosel and Mikdash, not like the post of Vosel and Mikdash, which we said. Is the source the posse that tells us to build the base of Mikdash, but that's not clear because the Pashtas read the Mishkan because Pashtas is talking about the Mishkan because after this posse they made a Mishkan. But there is a posse that specifically talks about the base of Mikdash. There's a posse that says, There will be a place where Hashem will choose to rest his name there. And this is a posse also in Chumash Bar and Pasha A. And that's a posseg about the Beis HaMikdash. When the Gifint is in Gemara and Yisifri, in Gemara and Yisifri, Taka says that this refers to the Beis HaMikdash. If I was breaking the Rambam, so why doesn't the Rambam bring Basrech and the Mitzvah there is the Rambam who counts this Mitzvah, making this Mitzvah as a Mitzvah for all generations, or then posseg in Ondan Hilcha Mitzvah In the beginning of Hilcha Mitzvah Chira, where he starts off, as we said before, Mitzvah says the last is by Yislashem, it's a Mitzvah. And he's talking about the Beis HaMikdash. Why doesn't he bring this posseg, which the Gemara says, he's talking about the Beis HaMikdash. Why doesn't he bring this posik instead of the posik posel imidish? The Kesha Mishnah parenthesis. The Kesha Mishnah answers this. Well, the Rambam learned, the Rambam learned that the posik Bahoyamok in the game at this posik, that the place that Hashem will choose should be a place where he will rest his name. That's not a commandment to build a Bisan English. Not a Sipur Balma was just telling us something. As Mazal bring a karbonus to Makama Shivka Hashem, that you shall bring karbonus to the place where Hashem will choose. Which means it's not telling you to build a base in English. It's telling you bring carbonus to the base of English. But the mitzvah of bringing the base of English is not from this posik. And those were the Gemara with the free bring here, then posik. I, the Gemara with do bring this posik concerning the base of English. It does blaze out Sraya as a cross, as Zara Shalamol, the Kedemist of being a base of It doesn't bring it to Gabbard the mitzvah of the base of English, of building the base of English. It brings this as a proof that to destroy a Molik comes before the building of the base of English. And he brought, brings this post, the Gemara brings this post for that. So according to the, the case of Mishnah, we understand why the Rambam didn't bring this posse, because this posse is not the posse which commands us to build a Bisham English. The Tizeh Ober, but according to this, is Nesav of them, of the Nid Glatkai. Mitzad HaKlala Yidu Ober Rambam Mazar Brengt Adrosh Apshut Tobi Yeser, Afa Bishalai Nintz Tobi Shaz. First of all, we have a rule, the Brodan is for him, that sometimes the Rambam only brings a din which is taken from the Gemara, but the Posig as a source, he sometimes doesn't bring the same Posig as the Gemara brings. Why? Because sometimes he finds even a simpler Posig, which is clearer. So here it's the opposite. It should have been here. Here's the opposite. As we said before, that the Posig, 
is more clear that it's talking about the Mishnah English. So even if the Gemara would not have brought that Pasik, the Rambam should have brought it. And here is the opposite. The Rambam brings a Pasik which is not that clear. But besides that, where the Shaila, the question comes up, Avos bring to the Rambam, the Rambam also, in Hilchas Malachim, also says the say that, that what comes first. And the Rambam also says that destroying Amole comes before building the Bisham English. I will read it in Hilchas Malachim, it says, Make a king comes before the fight with Amolik. And Achros Azara Shal Amolik, Kedem is Slobinian Abais. To destroy Amolik, come before the building of the Beis Amigdi. And he brings a different posse. Shenamar Vahik Yoshev Hamelab Abese. And the king was sitting in his house. Hashem in Yach Lehme Sovi Mikol Eivov. And Hashem had him finish, calm down, so to speak, from all the enemies. Vayemar Amelach Al Nosan Anovi. The king said to Nosan Noir Eino, Nech Yeshev Azarozim. I'm sitting in this house and we have to build a house for Hashem. So here we see that first he had the war, which is one of the things that said Amalek, and then he built. So why doesn't the Rambam and Yochaz Malachim bring the same posik as the Gemara for this inyan, this inyan, that killing Amalek, destroying Amalek comes before, build, before building the base of The Rambam brings a different posik. And if this is a clear posik, at least for that inyan, why doesn't the Rambam bring it? Another question we have to explain, we need explanation in the words of the Rambam in Hilchas Beis Abkhira. After he finishes off the first halacha, he writes, That's the end of the first halacha, that the Torah writes clear concerning the Mishkan that Meshach Rabbeinu made. It was temporary, and it caused the Posik. You haven't come yet. This is what the Raman said. But after that, he's a Mamshik and Aloha base. He continues the second Aloha. He writes like this As soon as the Eden went to Teres Israel, I read that Raman before, but now the Rebbe brings the whole ocean. After they came to Teres Israel, they took the same Mishkan of the Midbar and they put it up in Gilgal. And it stood there for Arba Es Shona for 14 years. Shekov Shev It took him 14 years to conquer the land and to settle the land. He divided and settled it. Umi Shom, after these 14 years, Bo Shile, they came to the city of Shile. Ubo Shom Bay Shalagonim. There they already built, not like the Mishkan, which was made of wood and it was, you could take it apart. But this was already a house, a built house. And made of stones. Ubo Shiriya Samishkan Olo. It didn't have a ceiling. The roof was not a roof. The Yiriyas that covered the Mishkan, the original Mishkan, was the same Yiriyas used for Shile. Shin Samach Teshon Oman Mishkan Shile. 600, 369 years stood Mishkan Shile. The Geshemes Eli, when Eli became God, died, Chorab, was destroyed. So they came to another city called Nev. Ubon Hashem Mikdash, and there they built the Mikdash. Geshemes Shmuel, when Shmuel died, Chorab, that was destroyed. Ubon Hashem They came to another city in Giving. Ubon Hashem Mikdash, and they built the Mikdash there. When we give in, after given, the next step was that's what they came for the Isamigdush, which is forever going to be in that place. And then the Rambam met, the Yimei Neve given, Sheva Bechamish Shona. The amount of years that it stood in Neve and given together is 57 years. This is the Rambam. It's hard to understand. The Rambam is a safer for Nalochis. The Rambam is a safer that tells us Nalochis. The Rambam says that in Tagdome. He's the main of Minel Aloche, or the Arichis. What is the difference? All these, all these details. As much of the Mishkan the Gilgal, first the Mishkan was in Gilgal, the Noch in Shile, and then they were given, then Shile they were given. But the Chachura not a sefer from Divrei Me Yisrael. It's just Jewish history, but it doesn't belong in the Ram. The Ram is a sefer that tells us halachas. Hen emes, it's true. Are there more for them say that Abinyanim the Chulu from the Ramba is from the Mishnah Misich Tzvachim? True. The Ram takes the source of the Ram about all these buildings and how long they stood. It's all from a Mishnah. Not from a storybook, not from a storybook, but it's from a Mishnah. So maybe the Ramam copies the Mishnah. That's not an answer. The Mishnah sometimes it brings facts which are not Alochis. Shaykh the Sefer Rayat from Rambam was by state nor from Alochis Sukkis, but the Ramam is only from Alochis Sukkis as the Ramam writes in his Agdomen. So you can't say the Ramam writes it because it said in the Mishnah. Nochmer, more than that. Even the Mishnah in itself, even this. Even in the mission, it's not just from telling us the history of how the buildings were put, set up. It came together with halachas that had to do with this. As Baal Gilgal, that when they came to Gilgal and put up the mission of Gilgal, who threw a So 
the bombers were mutter. What's bombers? Bombers are private misbeach. A person could make a private personal misbeach in his backyard and bring a carbon. So when they came to Gilgal and they put up the Mishkan, so the Mishkan was there, but everyone could have a bomber. The bombers were mutter. And he goes on with Dinin, Kachikadoshim Nechalim, and the Itakabonis, they have eaten this place and that place. Then Bo, the Shile, Nasra Bomis. When they built the Mishkan in Shile, the Bomis were also. Bo, and they were given, Butra Bomis. When they came to Navy Given, they were Mutter. So these are alochas that have to do with the different Dinyonim. But those Altis, they have done it. As Nor Nordem was Bo, Yerushalayim, Nasra Bomis. This is all an introduction. Besides telling us the Dinim of then, that when these were back and forth. At one point they were mutter the bombers, at one point they were also to teach us, but when they finally got to Yerushalayim and they built the Bishamidish, Nesra Bomas, that's what also lay hoyo lahen hetet. Never became mutter, vihi hoy sanach, that's called a nachla, that's it, it's never mutter again. So it's Nagay Lalocha, so even in the mission that brings it to Alocha. The Rambam, the Montes al the Rambam doesn't bring all this. The Rambam just brings the Binyanim, how long they stood and where the Binyan was. When the Rambam, the time of the is moving, the Pasha, we know why the Rambam. Wouldn't bring all these halachas, whether the bomber was mutter by Gilgal and by Shila, etc. But my dahaba have it. It's also not a halacha negaya to us. It's a halacha, but negaya to them. When some dini rambam halacha gimel, but the rambam does write that after the Beis Hamikdash was built, you can't bring any korban anywhere else. Kivim she nivna hamikdash be Yerushalayim when the mikdash was built in Yerushalayim. Nasr kol hametem es kolum livna mizvayis l'Hashem. All other places are forbidden to build a house for Hashem. Ulahakir ben korban. And to bring a carbon there, so the Raman does bring that. Sign a nigei as bowl of gilgal hutter abomas. It's not nigei what he said before. Itaka comes up with the last aloha, but it's not important that in Gilgal it was mutter and bowl of it was nest. This is just a din that now it's also. So the Rambam doesn't need really all the seder that was in Gilgal and Shile, never given, etc. Apikel calls there, bed it me and not grass. This makes the question even stronger. Number one. But I bring them Seder from Gilgal, Chulu, Shambo, the Shilu, Chulu. First of all, why does it bring this whole Seder? First, it was in Shile, the Mishkan, then it was a Mishkan in Shile, a house, and then it wasn't not even given, etc. Why, why that important? The second thing is, not only does he write the Seder of the building, he's not Mafara the Mispar from the Yorin, but the other from the Mishkan, and he tells us how many years they stood. But also, the Hafil of his man Gilgal, need Mervi, Aninia, from the Yisrael. See, the other thing to say, it was important that that time they had to know the deen. But this is not important. Even Lagaba, the time when it stood in Gilgal, 40 years or whatever it is. It's a story. It's a fact. that has nothing to do with any aloha, even in the time when, that, when, this, when this Mishkan stood. See, the other things, whether a bomber was mutter or not, now it's not negaya, whether it was mutter in that time or not. But that time it was at least a aloha. This is not even aloha then. So why does the Rambam bring the amount of years it stood? And the third thing is, because bring sich echnik in the Mishnah. This thing that he brings, the, certain parts are not even brought in the Mishnah. The amount of years is not brought in the Mishnah, the Raman says. So why does he add all this? That in those Fashtim, Bahagdim, Leviadim, Tam, first understand that the Rebbe says, I'll first explain the reason. Was in Hilchas Malachim, was Retzich, when the Mitzvah of Minim Melech, in Hilchas Malachim, which is the place to talk about, and that's what he talks about, the Mitzvah of appointing a king. Bring the Rambam, the Mitzvah from Binyam Bishabchir. The Rambam also mentions there that there's a Mitzvah. To build a base on Migdosh, and all the Gimel mitzvahs, all the three mitzvahs. So, why does the Ramah bring it? If he wants to talk about the mitzvah of Melachim, Minya Melech, say there's a mitzvah of Minya Melech, go on with Minya Melech. Why does he mention together with mitzvahs of Minya Melech, the mitzvah of bringing the base on Migdosh, the mitzvah of fighting Amalek? Al Deir Zagi Fintman in the Sefer of Mitzvah. It's not only in Rambam, Hilkas Melachim, where it seemingly doesn't belong. Ramah says it. He says it in Sefer of Mitzvah. When the Rechem the mitzvah from Binya Base on when he counts, when he mentions there, the mitzvah of building the Beis Amigdash, this is what they write. Shetzivon Ulas is by Beis Avedu. He commanded us to make a house to serve Hashem. Vahu Omre Yisala, that's what the Abish just says. But also the Mikdash, he calls that part. He's amazing. Then he adds, the Loshon Sifri, I'll quote you the Loshon of the Sifri. Shalish mitzvah Nistav Yisrael Beis Nisos and Lord. Three mitzvahs even were commanded when they came to its throne. Limon Islam Melech to appoint the king. Live the Islam Beis Avchira to build the Beis Amigdash. Ulach is Arash Alamolok and destroy the children of Amolok. He's a condemned woman. He also not understood. Was signed that the under its way mitzvah is negaya by the bringing mitzvah being a mitzvah. That's the place where he brings the mitzvah building the base of mitzvah. Why is it important to write in the mitzvah building the base of mitzvah that there are two more mitzvahs that came at the same time? Why is that important there? Eich dos was a heik ton kolosh nagmar mitzvah three sholish mitzvah. Also another question. The Rambam starts off three mitzvahs the Eden were commanded when they came to Israel to make a melech and to 
to kill a Molech, to destroy a Molech. Until the Bishamik, the Shay gives Agdoma, there are three mitzvahs. Bukhura Yitur Loshan, it's extra. A rechem to a gleich who is being devoted to three dry mitzvahs of Rad. Right away, like it says in the free, he mentions three mitzvahs. So the Vos are for free and Magdim Zayn, they are mitzvah. Why does he have to give Agdoma that there are three mitzvahs? Loshan Ashas, like the Gemara asks in many places, Minyon Elamali. Why do you have to give me a number? A lot of times it says a certain number and then it lists the, the, the few things that he mentions. Why do you have to give a number? If we see right away that there are that uh, whatever they are, something that's three, we see there are three things here. He, all he had to say that when they came to Israel, David should gave him the mitzvah of making a king and the mitzvah of destroying a molech and the mitzvah of building a mitzvah. And we know it's three. Why did he have to give Agdome that there are three mitzvahs that they were commanded? He can't say this is answered by what Rasha writes in the Gemara. Why did he write these three? That they depend one on another. Because we have to make it in the proper order. Melech, first the king. So here you have an answer why he mentioned. So the Rebbe says, this is answers one part of the Shaila. The part of the Shaila, the first part of the Shaila, why does he mention the mitzvah of Amolek, showing Amolek and the mitzvah of building the Mishamikdash when he's talking about the mitzvah of Melech, Mina Melech, that's answered. To tell you that there is a proper order, that you make a king and then you have to make the rest. That's good to understand. This could answer why he picked, he mentioned all three. It doesn't answer why he writes this introduction. Gimel mitzvah that there are three mitzvahs that doesn't answer. Taki Taka telling us that this is the proper order, but had he not mentioned the word three, we'd see it also. He would say, first you got to have a king, then you have to destroy a molech, then you build a base amikdash. So why does he mention this agdomen? The beer is the explanation is like this: dry mitzvahs and rasha These three mitzvahs are connected one to each other, but not the way we learned before. Till now we learned shat and rasha that they're connected, meaning this there's an order. You have to do it in this order. But now the Rebbe says, the Loshan of Rashi, Tluya Zubizu, means more than that. That they're, they're all dependent one on another. Because haste, it means like this. Hagamas is a dry bezunder mitzvah, even though they're three separate mitzvahs. He's of a yeder mitzvah, each mitzvah. Eich aprat, and bring shleimus in the under mitzvah. The under mitzvah. Each one is a detail in the other. And it makes the other one complete. Meaning, shleimus mitzvahs mean the melech, when is the mitzvah of making a king complete? When you finish off and you kill a molek and you build a base amikdosh, that's when you came to the complete fulfillment of the mitzvah of making a king. Now we understand why he brings them all. In 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 milchet malachim, he's only going to talk about the king, so but he brings the other two because when is the mitzvah fulfilled completely if you do the other two? Now there is everybody under the same by the other. These are shleimus kiyum kiyum mitzvah beisabchir minyan beisabchir. When is the real fulfillment, complete fulfillment of building the beis hamikdash? Parbun mitn kiyum mitzvah from minyan melech mochem et hamolik. If you first appoint to the king and then you had this, you had a war with hamolik, then and you build the beis hamikdash. Now you made the build the the, the, the mitzvah minyan beisabchir complete. So we understand why he brings all three and he mentions at three. Question was, well, also, first of all, why does he mention three? But also, what's the number? Why does he give number three? By giving number three, he's saying these three are one. He starts off with giving you, it doesn't say there's one and another. If he wouldn't say the number three, what would be? He says one, and then he says another thing, the two. So we know there's an order. But like this, it's more, which means he's saying there's a, a threesome here. There's a three, a group of three. They're all connected. It's not like one. And another, but they have an order. And in connection, in continuation to this, we learn out from the post and the shaykhs and zubazu, is able to get them say that not only that there's one connected to the other, there's also an order. Three are meaning melech, first the king, make a king, then ochlach is a shalomolik, and then the shalomolik. And after the binyam is a chir. The says that means like this, though, is not not a say that is mani a chir, a kim, a mitzvah, a tzadin. It's not only that. This is a say the portion when you have to do. The Yidin have a mitzvah to do. So if you say just the three things, and this is the order, it's an order mitzad, the way the Yidin have to do the mitzvah. Mitzvah of Yisrael, it's the Gavre, the person. Yidin have to do the mitzvah, people have to do a mitzvah. So this is the order you have to do. It comes to tell you even more. 
the order, not only that you have to do the three, but even the order how you have to do the three are all details within the mitzvah of Minimela. It's Adam Geder for Melech, in order to have the king properly, he has to have a Muhammad with a Molech and he has to build the Besamidosh. And in order for the Besamidosh to be proper the way David wants, for the Tzichas, you need to appoint the king and have a Muhammad Molech, then the Besamidosh is complete. And that's what the Rambam is trying to tell us. That's what the Rambam brings all three mitzvahs and says the word Sholosh. So it's not only the order, but the Rambam wants to say even more. Not only the order, that the, the three are one prat in the other, and the order is a prat. In order for the mitzvah of mini melech to be complete, it has to be that destroying Amalek and Besamikdash comes after that. And in order for the Besamikdash to be complete, not only you also have to have a king and you have to have destroying Amalek, it has to be in this proper order. When the Bribe bring Dort the Rambam, the Psukim, that's why which Posik we said before, which the Rambam bring that the order, as we said before, the Rambam writes, and I'll read it again. That mina melech kedem lemechemes amolik, and brings a posik. Then he says to kill amolik. It comes before the building of the beis hamikdash, and he quotes the posik. Which posik? The posik. By he ki yoshev amelah bebeisid the whole posik. By he ki yoshev amelah bebeisid. Then the king was in his house. By he nicha he laid sovim and galavim. David that left him finished off with all his enemies. By he mer amelah chamos manovi. The king said as never nechayesh beis harozim. I'm sitting in beis harozim, etc. So. He asked before, why does it bring that posik? He could have brought another posik, the posik that the Gemara brings, the Supreme brings, which is the posik, but, so why did, and the Kasha was, why does the Rambam bring a different posik? Because the Rambam wants to, wants to prove something else. The Raya from posik is neat place of them say different manamits, but the Rambam is trying to tell us that it's not only that there is the proper say, if you learn the Gemara, and the Gemara calls the posik that you bring carbonus, is negated to the Seder, but there you could learn, you have to have a Seder. We learn up on the post, there's a Seder, and this is the right way to do it. But from there, you wouldn't know that it's also the Seder is negated in each mitzvah. That to have the proper mitzvah, you have to have the order, not only you have to have the other two, you have to have in the proper order. So the Raya from post is not like them Seder from Zmana mitzvah. not only the order, when the mitzvahs have to, what's the time limit? This comes first, this comes second, this comes third. If the roof will give Engadun the Ash the Psukim that the Gemara bring, and that would be enough the Psukim that the Gemara bring. What does the Gemara bring a Posik? From Chumash. It says, Abishta said, if when the Abishta will you finish with all your enemies, then you'll have the place Yib Hashem. So the Gemara learns out from that Posik that the place to, that Hashem will choose comes after the Muhammad, which is Muhammad one of the Khamas Amolik. So for that to be enough, so the Gemara Taka means that. Nor Beike, the Rama wants to tell you even more. Ados is Aninya together in Ki Mitzvah Melech who Melchemes Achas Amolik. This order that Bismigish is the last has to do with the Mitzvah of making a Melech, the Mitzvah of destroying a Melech. Where do we see it in this pasuk? So the pasuk says the one that the Rambam brings, not the pasuk of the Gemara. Vahi ki Yosef Amelech bebeisi. The Melech was home. Hashem and Yechli Misavi when Hashem dropped left him, he finished with the enemies. To him. Then the king said, let's build the base of the English. What do we see from this Pasik? That this part has to do with the king. So that shows that the fact that building, destroying a Molik and building the base of the are details, in, and that order is details in the mitzvah of making the king. That's why he says the king was there and the king had finished with the enemies. So as you see that it has to do with the king that we get destroyed the, the enemies of Molik. And then the king said, let's build the base of Migdosh. That shows that it's a prat in the mitzvah of Mine Melech. The mitzvah is fashtandik, but the Rambam brings all gimel mitzvahs in Hilchas Melachim. Now the Rebbe teaches us. Now we know why the Rambam brings all three mitzvahs over there in Hilchas Melachim. When they can the mitzvah says of Binyan Hamikdash, exactly how these words are touched is not so clear. And also concerning the mitzvah says of Binyan Hamikdash, so the words in the mitzvah says I don't understand. And he also brings the the. Maybe he means that he brings in the mitzvah in milch as veisabchira. He brings. It's not clear. It's not clear, but it seems like that he also brings the mitzvah of binyan amigdash. But the lashon the sikh is that he brings it in the mitzvah of binyan. I don't know exactly. So why does the Ramatak bring all three? Because they are totally in the bundes of Because they all depend one on each other, not dependent in the time. Each one is a prat in the other. So now we have some of the shaylas answered. 
The shy is why does it bring three? And why does it bring a different person to cover the Seder? And why does Bichlau? Why does it write the number three? Why does it bring the three? Because it's all showing that it's all one. And from this post, we see that it's a prat one and the other. Okay. If he says, Now look back at Hilchas Beis. This was all Hilchas Malachim. Let's go back to Hilchas Beis Abchira. The Rebbe says, we will now see the Seder of the Loshan and the Rambam. Rambam says like this. Mitzvah says, Allah is by Hashem. It's a mitzvah, a positive mitzvah to make a house for Hashem. Muchan should be ready to bring carbonus, etc. And the post he brings, Shanamar va also limit Lashem. And that post he brings it up. When he's Mamshik, and then he continues. And this is the way that I've recorded before. The Torah says clearly the Mishkan that Mesha made, and that was temporary. Does haste as mitzvahs binyan bais Hashem? But the Ramam is telling you that the mitzvah of building a house for Hashem also goes on the Mishkan that Mesha Rabbeinu made. In other words, Mesha Rabbeinu made a Mishkan is not a separate mitzvah. It's Part of the general mitzvah to make a mitzvah mikdash, starting, and that's how it comes from Rambam. He says there's a mitzvah to make a mikdash, it says also the mikdash, a mitzvah to base a mikdash, and it continues. And we find in the Torah that Meisha Rabbeinu made a mishkan. So, what's he trying to tell you? That the mishkan that Meisha made is also part of that same commandment of making a mishkan, a mikdash. When we bowed as mitzvahs, binya base a mikdash is farbun with the under its mitzvah. And now we said before that making the base a mikdash has to do with the other two mitzvahs. As some gather a king from Binyan Mikdash is Negei the Friedrich a king from Minamelet that in order to fulfill properly the mitzvah of making a king, of making the Bishan Mikdash, I mean, the first, before that, as we said, you need a Minamelech there, Baniya from Nochem and Samolek to finish with Samolek. So we said before that the, the other two are part of the mitzvah of Minamelech. And, and Minamelech and Samolek is part of the mitzvah of Binyan Bishan Mikdash. Now, since the Mishkan is part of the mitzvah of Binyan Beis Amigdash, so we have to say that by all Bote Migdash was this Nekudah. There was the Melech, and there was the destroying Amalek, and then there was the building of Mishkan. All, all including the Mishkan. Because we just finished saying that from the Rambam, we see that the Mishkan is part of the whole Seder of the mitzvah of making the Beis Amigdash. It's all one. But says that means Agama design a mitzvah was in Tavi Yisrael, Gimel mitzvah in Tavi Yisrael, which has Kedos and Lord. Even though these three mitzvahs are mitzvahs that were commanded when you enter the land, Kedos Norb and the Gedem Sivui, Punala Drei Mitzvahs. That's only the commandment of when you're going to have to do all three mitzvahs. The Baldo Baraz mitzvahs by Binya by Hashem is in Ain't Sivu Lekola Deiras. So Take, when is the commandment to do it? When they enter the throne, they have these three things they have to do. But Lepel Mamish, the building of the Beis Amigdash that they built from the beginning of the Mishkan, which is the Oslo Mikdash, it's all one mitzvah, one sibah for all generations, was a scale of Allah. It includes all eight of the Kiminyanim. It doesn't only mean the Beis Amigdash, it includes Neve Given and it includes Shili before it and Gilgal and it includes the Mishkan and the Midbar. So since they're all one mitzvah, so is moving, we understand as eight by Yed and Friedrich and Minyan Amigdash that. Going back in all previous, before the Bishamik, all previous building of the Bishamik, including the Mishkan, it was given Northern Bishamik, given Amelech. Over there, probably, not probably, had to be also, there should be a king. When the Niach gave me a call, and to be finished with all the enemies, the Balgas told you was the commandment. So, in other words, the Rebbe says, the mitzvah that we have to do these three is a mitzvah that was given, going to that, so you have to do it. So, Taka, it's only from then on, there's a tzibu that you have to do it, and they're all connected. But since so if the mitzvah making a mishkan in the midbar would not be the same tzivoy as the later tzivoy making the Beis Amigdosh, then we could say only the tzivoy when to make a Beis Amigdosh is negaya all three together. But here not. But since we said that all, the mishkan is part of it, so if the mishkan is part of it, we have to say that by the mishkan you had these two things also. By the mishkan, not only did you have a building of the mishkan, which is part of the mitzvah building the Beis Amigdosh, you also had the union of Minya Melech, and you also had the union of Amolik. But, the Rebbe says in brackets, that the Shem with the Shleimis of Beis Amigdash, Atzmet, the Deir, the Deir, we give them the Binya Beis Salomim, the real Beis Amigdash, the complete Beis Amigdash, which is the one that stays forever, that that's supposed to be the Beis Amigdash, that was by the Beis Amigdash, when the Amigdash is building the Beis the Rambam says, that's it, from now on, that's the place. So that's the Shleimus of that mitzvah. So too, 
the other two, which are conditions and the part in the mitzvah of building the Mesamikdash, which is Mini Melech, making the king of Mohammed Samolik, when did they also be complete by the Mishkan, by the Bikdash in Yerushalayim? That time there was a real Melech, full fledged Melech, and really fight at the Melech, etc. Just like the Mesamikdash itself. But the, the, that's the Shleimus. But we have to assume that even in the previous ones, including the Mishkan, there were the other things. From well, a high time, we bring the Rambam and Posig also the Mikdash. That's what the Rambam in Hilchas Beis Abchira brings the Posig also the Mikdash. And his gleich mamshich, right away he says, "Ukvan is parish b'teira." Mishkan shows a meishav oilik. He showed that the teira tells us clearly the Mishkan that Meishav Rabbeinu was temporary. Why does he write it right after that mitzvah? Because the tzivu kipshuti del given of Mishkan shows a meishav. Posh begashim is when David told him also the Mikdash was concerning Meishav Rabbeinu's Mishkan. So the Mikdash was really said the Mishkan. That no, it's said by everything, but it was said the pilot was said by the time of the Mishkan. And that was said as a close as they can miss for all the buildings, including the Mishkan and the other Bisa Mikdash. So we said, since this is the same as the later Bisa Mikdash, but it started off with the Mishkan, so it had to have the other two conditions also. And the Taka had other two conditions. Where Meshur Abayn and Melachoyo, did the Ramam Shrine, Ramam writes Meshur when it's called the king, who says, Given Lachem and Nucha from Melchem and Samolik, was after they finished with war, finding the war of Samolik, like it says in Chumash, Vayachlish and Yeshua, as Samolik, with Samolik, Yechor, and Yeshua weakened Amolik and his nation with a sword. So it had the other two also. From them, Elton, is a Chiyav Atsib and Vosli Mikdus, you believe in the Falamol. And from then, that moment of the Mishkan, when David gave this Tzivui, and the tzivui actually had the other two with it. That's the way it's for later on, and this posting goes for later on. So since the Rambam wants to tell us that all the tzivuyim are all the, the same, they're all one nekude, and therefore you have to have the other two by all of them, including by the Mishkan, so you have to bring the posting to the Mikdash. Because the posting to the Mikdash, as much as it goes on all about the Mikdash, but it was said when the Mishkan. So that's, he brings this posting to show that the Mishkan is also part, because they're all like that, and by all of them, you have to have the three conditions, the other two things that have to be there. The Gam is moving, but the Rambam is Maira. That's why it explains why the Rambam goes into an Arichas its length. On the Ibn he starts off Mishkan Shosa Meshir Rabbein the Voyage of the Show. First, he says the Mishkan Meshir Rabbein the Maid, and that was temporary. When his mom Shekhan continues, Give me Shanichmus Lawyers when they enter that to Sarla, meet the Mishkan, but Gilgal Abbas Shono. They put up the Mishkan in Gilgal for 14 years, Shakov Shavacholko, that they conquered the land and they divided the land. But the meat is in my why does the Ramam go on? We ask the question, what's the gate that he went to Gilgal? What's the gate that he went to Shile? What else is this important? And even telling us the amount of years. But the meat is in my By that, he's telling us, and that Tzivu from Vosil and Migdash by Mishkan Mesha is given at Tzivu the data. He wants to tell us this, Nakuda, that the Mishkan, it was a Tzivu for the Mishkan, but it's a Tzivu for all, for, the, for all generations. So, how does he bring that out? By telling you, after he quotes the Posse Vosil and Migdash, he goes through the whole list. You have the Mishkan of Mesha, you have the Shile, you have Gilgal, you have Shile, you have maybe giving, and then you have the Beisam Mikdash. So he wants to be explained that the commandment also the Mikdash by Mishkan Mesha, you cannot see with the Deiris. It's a commandment for all generations. When they meet the Mishkan, and they fulfill that mitzvah of the Mikdash when they put up the Mishkan. So that's already part of the Kiyum. So he brings the rest to show you that it's all connected. The Chilik is given not in the Mefne Kiyum. There was a difference how they fulfilled it. The Migdash Osa Mesha. The Migdash Osa Mesha made you balder as given Gibuti Midbot since it was built in the desert. Unuv Gishtel to Masa Masa, it was put up. It was, a, it was put up in, every time they stopped. Is given an Aifim for Mishkan. So there it was a form of a Mishkan. An ale, which was like a tent, like the Posik says. It was like a tent, which means it was a, per, a temporary thing. But that's because the circumstances, it's the same mitzvah. But the circumstances, you couldn't build a building there because you're going to stay there for a short while. Nor if it's short, it was temporary. So this fulfillment of the mitzvah in this form, so as long as since in the Mishkan and the Midbar, they did it in the form of a temporary thing because that was the matzah. That's how it continued even after the end of the Israel for the 14 years. Those 14 years are also a temporary thing. It wasn't finished yet. It's before the end of the 14 years that took him to conquer and to divide. Divide is when they settled. When Yeshua is like a melech. 
So their taka, they also had it. They had it, and Yeshua was a king. And then the Ramam continues. Mishtombol is Shile. Then they came to Shile. Was Dor Zadnid even given in a matzah from Nuchayesedet? So there was already a different matzah. They were already settled afterwards. So they weren't 100%, but they were settled more. She's not given a lachash of Shem Shechok. It was after they conquered and divided. Then they made a house. Obanit Kemen, not a tent. It is Damut. No, Shin Samach Tes Shona Omad Mishkin Shile. He wants to say, why was it a house? Because it was permanent. Where do we see that it was permanent? It was not 100% permanent forever, but it was permanent for a long time because it stood 369 years. The Ramah wants to tell us, stood, no, it stood 369 years. So Ramah is going through the list because it's all one mitzvah. He's just telling you that you should know that the same mitzvah was fulfilled differently according to the circumstances. The Mishkan was mamish temporary. The Mishkan in Gilgal was also temporary because it wasn't settled yet. Then came more Menucha, so it became a better form of fulfilling the mitzvah of making the Beis Amigdash. And it stood for 69 years. Oh, but Eich knows them, he said. But even then, after Kishimes Eli, when Eli died, the bowl and Nave, they came to Nave. Ubo Shom Igdosh, there they be the Igdosh. Kishimes Shmuel, Chora, Ubo Le Given, and Shmuel died. They came to Given. The May Nave Given, Sheva Vachamishim Shona. The days of Nave Given is 57 years. Why does he write that? As haste, he wants to say, Eich when again Nave Given, Zog the Raman Bona Shom Igdosh. By Nave Given, the Raman writes, Hadam Mishkon, they built a Igdosh. He considers it a Migdash. Choch der Oren is not need given. The Oren wasn't there. Mesved Bekama became his own group from Bomagdale or someplace in the Gemara. It's called a big Boma. As I said before, a Boma means a person who was Beach. So that's a Bomagdale. This was called a Bomagdale, which means it wasn't even referred to as a Migdash. It was referred to as a Boma, but it, it's Sibur, a Boma for the community, a big Boma. But nevertheless, it's called a Migdash. The Ramam says, Bonusha Migdash. Why? Well, the mitzvahs, binyan, beis amigdash, is a temple command. He wants to tell us, but this is part of the mitzvah of building a beis amigdash. But since it wasn't that they were clear from war, it's not called a house forever. After given, they came to the house forever. But the is given, the rinya from mela, bishleimus. Then you had everything complete. By David. Shlemet, Dovin, Dovin started, Shlemet built him. That was the real Shlemet of Malchus. When they Shlemet Samlucha from Machemus Amolik, then they came Shlemet Machemus Amolik. And even though Amolik didn't, didn't destroy completely, but the Rebbe brings an order before that the whole mitzvah that we're talking about here, that like you have to destroy Amolik before you build the base. I mean, it doesn't mean to destroy it completely because that didn't happen yet. To destroy whatever level they destroyed, that was part, that is enough to that you should be able to build the base. I mean, afterwards. So now after this, we already answered all the Shaivas. Why the Ramam brings here the Posik? Possibly Migdosh, because he wants to tell us that the, Migdosh, the mitzvah building a Beis Migdosh is one mitzvah starting from the Mishkan. So he had to bring this Posik, because the other Posik is not about the Mishkan, the Mishkan is not included. So he wants to bring a Posik which includes the Mishkan. And if he includes the Mishkan, so he has to bring the Posik, the Posik of the Mishkan. And he wants to tell us that they all are the same. What's negate? They're all the same. And they all had to have the other two conditions too. And the Rebbe brings out how they had the other conditions. So we know all, so basically if we could go through the question that he asked in the beginning, we see how they're all answered. Why he has to bring three mitzvahs in Hukas Malachim when he's only talking about the mitzvah in the Melech because they're all the details in the mitzvah of Melech. And why he says the word Sholish to tell you that it's not only a say that and you have to have the three, they're one dependent on the other, one is part of the other. And when he gave the numbers, as I said, the numbers of the years, by saying the numbers of the years, he wants to tell us that when he's telling us it's all one mitzvah, Lahura, we see that it made differently. If they're all one mitzvah, they should all be the same. Here we have a Mishkan, and here we have a, a Shilai with a house, and here we have differently. So the difference is, Ramam is teaching us why is it different, because in the Midbar, it's temporary. That's why it was one way. Gilgal was still temporary. So how do you know it's temporary? Mishkan was 40 years, but the Raman didn't say 40, he didn't have to say it. 39 years, because it's obvious. The Gilgal is 14 years. By the saying 14 years, we understand why it wasn't a regular bias. Then when it comes to Shila, he says, oh, that was a bias already. That's fulfillment of the same mitzvah in a different form. Why? Because that stood for 369 years. So he says the number 369. And then when he comes further, when he says the the, 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 the labor giving, which he gives the number there too. So even though it's a smaller number, but he wants to show that after all, it's not the Beis Amigdash yet. 
you see it was only seven years. So it's not the Vishnadi Lom. That's why it was also, it was a Migdosh. And the reason he uses the word Migdosh to tell you, even though it wasn't really, but it's all part of the same mitzvah going through all this, till they came to the Vesa Migdosh in Yerushalayim. Apia now with Ben Fashtandi, this will explain. Now we understand why the Raman talks about all three mitzvahs. So the Why over there he brings the posik the shikh in Hilchas Molochim, the shikh in Shidish, and Nidam Posik also in Migdosh, another Posik, Unech Nidam Posik Mafurish Benigay Basilom, another special Posik that Gemara brings to Negay the Bissamigdosh, the shikh in Tidushu, the Yaisa Zaret begs man, Shask Nisos Elores. There he's not talking about the original where the mitzvah started in the midbar. There he's talking about the time when they entered the soul. Noch Kibish Vechilik is talking about the mitzvah after they conquered it, so they settled. Shall demo given the king from the Allah Mitzvah and the Stabu was an Kluyu Zebazer. So then, Take, you had all the three mitzvahs. Hagam as a tachas v'shleimus is given by Binyan b'samigdosh shleim. Even the tachas v'shleimus of all three is when they built the b'samigdosh. But already then, when they entered Eretz Yisrael, so already you had already the Mishkan Shilei, which is already a more shleimus than the midbar, which is temporary, more temporary. And there, all the three mitzvahs are already fulfilled. Where do we see that all the mitzvahs are already fulfilled? And that's what the Raman brings it there. That the malch the minyan, the mitzvah of making him a, a king was fulfilled in the time when they came already into Shile, because he should give the binyan from Abayis. Shile was a house already. Nitkanael was lifnes at another katent. Noch the Yehuda that John from Kibush Bechilut is given am datzat from Menuchah in Eretz when they finished the wars and forty years and they settled. It was Keniach. There was no more wars, so you had both. You had the the, the after that it was a place. Where they built a house already, they built a base Amigdosh, and there was Manucha from the wars, which is like the second thing of finishing with Amalek. Was his given to Yeshua, but says, I came to Yeshua, but was appointed as a king. Al Demesh Rabbin of his Bine, through Mesha and his best, and Vidi Mitzvah for me in the middle of the time That's the way Mitzvah is supposed to be elevated. It says that all generation, when you make a king, has to be up. He best, Shashim Skanim, has to be best of the 70 elders, Valpinovi. I shank in the Mishkan was his given, like Yeshua and Midbor. Mishkan that was temporary in the midbar. In the midbar. A midbar is when you travel. When you masa la masa, it was put up every time you stop. It was manuch. So it wasn't the real fulfillment because it has to be both things. You have to have a melech and you have to fulfill the, the to the, the make the, the put up the Mishkan and you have to have the chroser hashalamolech. So here it was only if you show so putting up the Mishkan was not the full fulfillment of the mitzvah of making a bisamigdash. And it wasn't a matzah and manucha, so you didn't really have the other thing of the middle one. Umeishis manucha gave infinite as a zayin al demina. Meishir Abayna, when he was called a king, we don't find he was appointed. He deprived the mitzvahs mina melech like the mitzvahs melech. So Meila, that's why over there the Rambam doesn't bring the pasuk of Oslo Migdash because Oslo Migdash is only brought when you want to show how from the beginning of the Mishkan you have the fulfillment. Here in Hilchas Malachim, the Rambam is saying differently. He's telling us that we have three mitzvahs in Eretz Yisrael. And there, Farket, he wants to tell us the mitzvahs that are happening that you're going to have to do now. So he doesn't bring Vosalim Migdash. He also doesn't bring the other posse that the Gemara brings, that it says that uh, you, you, uh, because if the Rambam, the Rambam didn't say it, but if the Rambam would bring that posse, it would not include Shilai. And that's not so. It would not include Shilai. Because that posik says Mokim Ashiv Hashem, which is like the base Amigdash. So Bamela he brings this posik, which in Mashiach Mashidah would not include the Shila, the So he brings this posik, the other posik that he brings, which is the posik, the Shikh Nitzidr Shu of Osa Shoma, and not the posik that he says, and why Makin Shukhan Shakim Mishme Shom, that's what I mean. But he put quote the posik, the Shikh Nitzidr Shu of Osa Shoma, and that goes on Shila. The Gemara says that goes on Shila. He wants to show that Shila is also part of it. But it's Negei over there, because Shilei is after the entering Eretz Yisrael. And Hilchus Malachim is talking about the mitzvah as it's, it's supposed to be fulfilled entering Eretz Yisrael. While the Hilchus Beis Abkhira is talking about the mitzvah of Echlal from the beginning. Even though he's Hilchus Beis Abkhira, which is talking about the mitzvah building Beis Amikdash, all generations. But he wants to tell you where that started, that they're all the same. There's one mitzvah throughout, which started from Vosel Amikdash, which was said before the Mishkan was made. This could also answer the aloha in Hilchas Vesapira. What's the aloha in the Gaya? 
And he, that we said before, the whole thing that Amma wants to tell you that all the Batimikdash are all one mitzvah. Fine. What halacha comes out from here? The Rebbe explained everything fine, and we see that it's all one mitzvah, and he wants to explain that the gather of the mitzvah. Fine. But the gather of the mitzvah is not enough. It's not a halacha that's telling Hasbore, the gather of the mitzvah, they're all one, and they're all connected. So, one part really we could see already a halacha that you have to have the others to be shlemus. And you have to do it in the proper order. But a practical halacha is so far not so. This is <clears throat> it's a close the kirin. Anyway, but the Rebbe is trying to bring here a halacha. Was ken arus from the arus line halacha lepeil. This that the Rama makes them all into one mitzvah is in gale halacha. The Rama passes and the Rama says like this: But also lo adam sheyasa based bias tavnis heichol. A person is not allowed to make a house which is the shape of the heichol of the beis hamikdash. Achsadret. The sulam or nachsade, which should look like the ulam of the base, make a shchotzek and the to make a yard exactly with the dimension, everything the azorah. Is he bald as the ale uizgerech and the binyonim? Hom yat adin migdosh. Now the draman told us that all of them from the mishkanan had a din of a base migdosh. And by yedin, what the mekayin gven the mitzvah was the mitzvah. Each one that they made, they were fulfilling the mitzvah, make to me a base migdosh. These as eight the base amigdash, even the base amigdash, agam as I see you in the protest in the sort of rock, and can understand the mishkan. Even the base amigdash itself, that we know that the way the shape and the, the details were different than the mishkan. But that's the thing that I say, I know the yonim or ikrim should be given by doing some mishkan. The most important parts were similar to the mishkan. The Rambam shrived, the Rambam writes, the Aisim Mechitza Acher Asobev Lehechol, the Chaykam and Manoi says, you have the building, it's called the Hechol, and around it, there was a wall far away, and that was Ke'en Kali That was done like the walls of the Chotzer in the Beis Hamishvoi Ben Midbar of the Mishkan. The Chola Mukim and Mitzvahs, whatever is in that area between the Heichol and the wall, Shu Ke'en Chotzer Eilmeid, which is similar to the yard of the Eilmei, who Anik Azor is called Azor. So we see how they're all one. So the Rebbe puts another thing. We see they're all one that. How to make it is taken more or less the same. But what's in the Gail Allah? Yeshlema, and the Isur, Las, is by his Tavn, his Hechel, etc. This is that you can't make a building in the shape of the Bissam English, etc., etc. Is Chal, Eich of Nochmach, and Tavnis from Mishkan. Would also go, you cannot copy and make a house looking like the Mishkan. And you can't make Mishkan Shiloh. And you can't make something that's made to given. That's Allah. Why can't you? Because you can't make a house similar to the, to the Bissam English. Now, if this would not be part of the same mitzvah, mitzvah, mitzvah what does it say you can't make like a mishkan? But the Bishamikdash it says, but now that they're saying they're all the Bishamikdash, they're all fulfilling the mitzvah, Bishamikdash, that's why you are not allowed to make these either. It comes up from here. Now, there is this in, in Forshim, they talk about it, whether it is or it's not, but from this, I want to say that according to the Rambam, you're not allowed to make. Beer, so now we answered all the questions. The beer is a bit nimis in Yonim to explain all this in the nimis of the Chsidis is like this. In the Teichon from Seder from the Gimel Mitzvahs and Chsidis, but the way the Teichon and the Seder of these three Mitzvahs, the way is Chsidis Mavaya, so Chsidis explains it like this. What three Mitzvahs again to make a king, destroy a Molech, and build a base of English? But it says like this. A same Tosim Melech and Melech, for success, put a Melech upon you, is the beginning of Yire. That's Yire, that's fear of Hashem. Why? For Melech is in Yonah, Yoreh is Hashem is Vodah, but Yosef says, the Holy Middle of the Melech, and he has much more Yerah Shemayin than an average person. And it's bottled to, me, to me, Bishen, he's bottled to Hashem. And through the Melech, that Nimshel, the Yerah of Bittles in Gansan Am, and through his Yerah Hashem, and his Bittle to Hashem, all the people get it. That's the whole reason, now, Pichsidus, why you have to make a king. But what's important to make a king, and why you have to be bottled to the king? Because the king is the greatest tzaddik, means he's the most bottled to Hashem. So you have to make a king, so you should be bottled to him, and you'll get from him Yiras Hashem also. After you reach Yir, it's going to explain the Seder. After you have Yir, which is by the king, which is the Rinya for Niskatia, Yir means you fear Hashem, so you're not doing Averis, you're bending yourself and not doing bad. Now the Nogzai Mechias Amolik, then you have to destroy Amolik, it's the next order. The Rinya from Vyarta Aro, it says destroy your evil. But Dos is Durchis Papche, that is the next level, that not only you Bend the clippers, you transform the bad into good. Then you come to a third level, which is also Yira, but the higher level of Yira. It's a higher level of Yira. It comes to the Bisamikdash, like the Postic says, 
be afraid of the Amikdash. It doesn't mean the building that means to be Amikdash brings another level of year into the Yidin. But this Madrege of year comes from Chines Chochme. This Madrege of year comes, it says in Chesidus, from the level of Chochme, the Rinyan HaTayr. Tayr is Chochme. As I say, all day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, in all generations, we don't have a Bisa Amikdash. So where do we get this next level of year? That's the four Ames of Allah. It means where you learn Tayr, where you rule not Rochem. The Gemara says in Brochus, that when it's from the Churb Misamikdash, the Ebishta dwells in the place where you learn Torah. So that's the Misamikdash, and this is how we go. So we have Yirita, first law, Yirita Torah, then you have, that's the Skafi, then you have Ishapcha, then you have Yirila. And that's the Seder. Now, we have it in Fashtain, for what that Siva, Binya Misamikdash, Nech, the Binya, the National Mikdash, Mishkan Mepel, the Davzai, Dafka, the Chmesh, Rabbi. Now we'll understand why the commandment to build the Misamikdash and the actual building of the first Misamikdash, which we said before, was the Mishkan. Happen to ha- ha- has to happen through Meish Rabbeinu. In the Rambam is medayik, and Rambam takes stress of the Kavan is parish, but Tere Mishnah so also Meish Rabbeinu. When he speaks about the Mishkan, he says stress is made by Meish Rabbeinu, which is the Churah not Negeya. The Mishkan was made in the Midbar. It's Meish Rabbeinu. Why? Well, the Amshochas Adas the other reason because to bring down this Das. So every year, but the Tem comes from Zutzu Yire, that this brings you to Yire is Ad Meish, because what we're trying to get to the Beis Hamikdash. He's, we said the higher level of Yireh. But you have to have Seichel in order to get to Yireh. So who gives us that Das to have Yireh that comes from Meish Rabbeinu? We like find it like we find it more as I can post it. On this post where it says, David just said, now Yidin, what's Hashem asking of you? Nothing. Just to have Yireh. In fact, the Gemara in the Yireh Mil Sezutras, he's more than what Yireh is such a small thing. And for answer, the Gemara answers in, yes, the Gabba Meish Mil Sezutras is. The Gabamesha, it's a small thing. But what does it mean in Tanya? What does he explain? It doesn't mean the Gabamesha, because David Shere was talking to all the Yid. It means every Yid has a little bit of Mesha in him, a mitzvah of Mesha. Because every Yid has a little bit of mitzvah of Mesha. So, yes, it's easy to have Yid. So, what do we see from here? That to have Yid comes from Mesha Rabbeinu. So, the first thing in Avlucha, which is Yid also, but Allah, Yid Tatoa, bees the Binya Besamikish Yid Allah till. They reach the higher level of Yira by building the Mishkan, So all these things came to Meish Rabbeinu. So he says, Meish Rabbeinu built the Mishkan. That's Meish Rabbeinu. And so the lower level of Yira came through Meish Rabbeinu. Because Yira Tato, which is the Malchus, Meish Rabbeinu was a Melech. And Malchus is the first level of Yira that was Meish He was the Melech at that time. And the higher level of Yira also came from Meshach, which is the building of the, of the Mishkan, which is the base of Mishkan, which is Inyan is Yira. No, i go further. When we talk about the Mishkan, the Mishkash, Chazal say, the Pesach says, make for me a Mishkan, I will dwell in them. It doesn't say in him, in it. In them, meaning in every year. Which means that, yeah, the Yid cannot have Ufton to, Ufton to Zayn, Alein a Mishkan, a Mishkan, a Mishkan, a Mishkan. Every yid has, can, and has to make it so that he becomes a mikdash and a mishkom. We shechanti b'seichom. When the keich of them hotter from chinas meishe was his dovayim, and how does everyone have the keich to do this? Not only we got the keich from meishe rabbeinu, everybody has a chinas of meishe, as we said. But the alt rebbe is as masvei as the kabbal kolech bechet misrael is yidah amil sezutres. Yet true for every yid, yid is a small thing. The ashtet in posek sheil mi imoch is asking from you. So the pale, everything has to do with Mesha. So all this fits. The Seder fits, and it all has to come from Mesha because it's all connected to Yireh, levels of Yireh. And Mesha Rabbeinu is the one that brings the Yireh. So Sai Mesha Rabbeinu, and Sai, the mitzvahs of Mesha in every year. But still, in Shleimus of Mitzvahs Binyan Amigdash, is Shleimus of Binyan Mitzvahs Binyan Givan Beis Salomon. Where is the complete Binyan Beis Amigdash, the fulfillment of the mitzvah of building the Migdash, was in the Beis Salomon, in the Beis Amigdash. From the Rinyan Amalchus, which Shleimus should be Golo, it's a Chulgit until the Tavit Amalch. The Sinyan Amalchus, which we said brings the Yire, where did it really start completely? Through David Amalch. He says in the order 71, it says in Tech Matzech a whole year. This from Gilu from Malchus, but Tachas al Shemus. Then the real Shleimus wasn't even then. When will be the real Shleimus of Malchus and the real Shleimus of the Yire? Will be, was Vezain, the Yamid Melech, Mik David, the Rambam, when he talks about Mashiach, says, a king will come up from Beis David, Hegi Beteira, Beis Mitzvah David Oviv, that learns Teira and does mitzvahs like David Amelech, his father. The Yikiv Kol Yisrael Leila Bolochazik Bitkel force all the Eden to go on the Erech of Teira and he will 
fix its cracks. The Yilchem Mochemes Hashem will fight Mochemes. Here we see the same thing. He'll start off being a Melech, Yamig Melech and Bezdavi. He's going to fight him Mochemes Hashem. Uborne Migdash, and then he'll build the base of Migdash. That's the Shlemus. It's going to be the same thing like by David. The same thing like originally, but not the Shlemus. By David was more the Shlemus. And the complete Shlemus will be by Mashiach. For Demel, for Zion, for Inyah, for Melo, for Shlemus, will be a king complete, the highest level. And destruction of the children of Amalek complete. Because all the times before, the Wataka Yeshua made them weak and the show fought with him, out fine, but it wasn't complete, then it'll be complete. As for Zion, Hashem Sholem, Akisa Sholem, Hashem's name will be complete and the chair will be complete. Not like it says now, <coughs> Yod al Ko, that they wish to put his hand on the Kisei, but it's missing an Aleph. And the name of Hashem is Yudke, not Yudke Vovke. But Mashiach will come, the Hashem will be complete and the Kisei will be complete. The Gilu Machusei Shalakadosh Baruchu. Then you'll have the Gilu Yimalchus from the Ebishter, Ushleimus, which is the real Yire. Ushleimus in Binyan Bishamikdash. Bishamikdash will also be Bishleimus, in which Abinyan Nitzchi, it'll be Abinyan. Bishalomim is also a building forever. But the building itself didn't stay forever. It's going to be in you forever. Because the Abish that is going to build this Amigdash, from here be your menu to call it Mamish. Amen. Rabbi Shapiro, thank you so much again. Yes, thank you very much for the good words. Thank you.